They're off instant offense, tries for the lead. Western Dreamer on the rail, second the whiz in between horses. Around the turn, moving towards the backstretch. Western Dreamer now has the lead by a length and a half. The whiz drops in second. Two and a half lengths back to instant offense. Third gap, uh, two and a half lengths. Chief Marty, fourth. Gifted Cowboy, fifth. Rockaby, sixth. No sign of seventh. Approaching the quarter pole, Western Dreamer on top by a length. With the Wiz second, two lengths back to instant offense. Third, quarter times 28 and three. At the paddock turn the first time, Western Dreamer in front by a length and a half. The Wiz second, two lengths back to instant offense. Third, gap for two and a half flanks, Chief Marty fourth. As they come by the stands the first time, Western Dreamer maintains a length advantage. The Wiz second, instant offense third. With Chief Marty fourth, gifted Cowboy fifth. Rockaby moves to the outside sixth. About six lengths back to no sign at seventh. Half time is 57 and four. Around the clubhouse turn to final time. Western Dreamer still in front by a length. The Wiz second. Three lengths back to instant offense. Third. Gap of two and a half lengths. Chief Marty fourth. Two lengths back to Gifted Cowboy fifth. Three lengths back to Rockaby sixth. Down the back stretch. Western Dreamer in front by a length. The Wiz right there second. Two and a half lengths back to instant offense. Third with Chief Marty fourth. Gifted Cowboy fifth. Three quarters, one, 26 and two. Around the far turn, Western Dreamer in front by a length and a half. The Wiz second. Three lengths back to instant offense. Third, Chief Marty up on the outside. Fourth, they're at the head of the stretch. Western Dreamer leads by a length. The Wiz trying to close along the rail. Second instant offense. Third, through the stretch. Western Dreamer in front by a length. The Wiz second. Western Dreamer in front and drawing away. Judges have posted the complete unofficial order finish. First horse pass. Surprisingly, a lot of horses left the gate against Western Dreamer, but Mike Lachance put them all in a hole behind him and rolled on to the easiest kind of victory. Three quarters up and 126 and two, tossed to the 28 and three third quarter to keep any potential closers at bay and came home in the 27 and four for the victory. Last half, my math is any good, went 56 and two. That was Western Dreamer. Prevails at one to nine, and yes, the bridge jumpers are safe and democracy is safe. Yet again, the Wiz did what he had to do, kept the pocket closed and salvaged second for George Brennan. Instant offense closed the gap, winding up third. Looked like the five gifted cowboy outkicked Chief Marty for fourth and will return. Western Hanover, who won this race back in 1992, wins his fourth straight. Overall, it's now 7 for 17, owned by the Dailies, Matthew Patrick Jr. and Daniel of Ontario, trained by Bill Robinson. Nat Vardy subbing this evening. Mike Lachance at the controls. There you see the prices. One, well, to the surprise of very few, Western Dreamer has won the first Cane Pace elimination. Mike Lachance, you surprised that that many horses went out after you early? Uh, yes, but while I guess everybody wants to be uh, close to the front and, uh, you know, they just want to be cl uh, close to me, so, you know, I'm not surprised now, not really. Let's talk about this horse. Uh, we talked after he won the Rooney that the track size doesn't seem to bother him. He seems even better now, if that's possible, off the win in the homes and now the win here than he was when he won the Rooney. He just keeps going. Uh, I don't think he's better, but you know he's just as good, that's for sure. What is your biggest concern entering a race like this? You got the prohibitive favorite, you got the rail. Um, you could pretty much could have dictated the race any way you wanted it to go. Was there anything that was concerning you heading into this race? Well, I still didn't want to cut the fraction too, uh, too close, like I mean, too slow. Because uh, any of those three year old, they could sprint in a the stretch there. So, uh, you know, I tried to, uh, to cut like decent fraction and he came 27 4 at the end there. So, and it was a nice and easy quarter for him. Easy quarter, and, and obviously looking to leave something in the tank for next week. Yes, but uh, he's, he's lazy. When he gets to the front, he's lazy. So he just came back at me, and he was relaxed all mile. So he was, he was very good. I know it's an open draw next week, and obviously post position being so critical. You won this race now 10 years ago with Righteous Bucks. Um, it's certainly, though, a different game since it's gone from two heats and to, to uh, eliminations and final in, in consecutive weeks. 
Yes, it is, but uh, it's still post position. It still me means a lot there. Like I said, uh, if you cut uh, quarter like too, a little too slow, uh, any of those three-year-old can sprint with you at the end. Uh, so you know you just, you still have to be close to the front, and uh, you know you gotta uh, cut like a nice fraction there. Congratulations this week. Look forward to seeing you back here Friday. Oh, thanks, Frank. Okay, Western Dreamer easily wins.